Over the past 50 years, the Mile High Flood District has evolved in how we manage our region's stream network. We started with a singular focus on flood conveyance, often using concrete lining because it carries a lot of water quickly through confined areas. But concrete lining is expensive to replace, damaging to the environment, and an eyesore for the community. We've learned that given enough space, streams can withstand flooding and erosion without expensive structural features made of rock and concrete. We've learned that urban streams which mimic natural processes are more effective in protecting people and property from floods, are less costly, enhance the environment, and provide amenities for the community on a daily basis when there is no flood. We've learned that infrastructure can look like nature. The district recently coined the term high-functioning, low-maintenance streams to describe our modern approach to urban stream design. High-functioning, low-maintenance streams, or HEFLMs, not only reduce flood risks, but it also mimics natural stream processes, which leads to lower life cycle costs, as well as creates an abundance of ecological and community values. But it starts with having a wide enough corridor. With a large enough corridor, we're able to mimic natural stream processes even in an urban setting. When we have space, we have room for the daily flows. The channel forming flow, which is the flood event that's both common enough and big enough that it does the most work on the bed and banks. And when the rare but large flood events come through, the flows can spread out with the waters getting inches deeper rather than feet deeper. Here, we have possibilities, wildlife corridors, improved water quality, and a place for people to connect with nature, even in the middle of the city, high functioning. Here, we will only require maintenance with a trash bag and a weed whacker. And vegetation creates stability instead of a bunch of rock or concrete, lower maintenance. A training program was needed to develop watershed ambassadors to lead our industry into this new era of urban stream design and multi-discipline project teams. The district, in partnership with the CRA and CASFM, developed the Stream Management Academy. The academy teaches the high functioning and lower maintenance concept founded on the five pillars of an urban stream system. Hydrology, hydraulics, geomorphology, vegetation, and people. The Academy brings in technical experts to train our watershed ambassadors about each of the five pillars and how to integrate them on projects using a multidiscipline team. I've really enjoyed seeing our students gain an understanding and an appreciation for natural hydrologic processes that intercept rainfall, detain it, filter it, slow it down, and infiltrate it into the soil. It's all about healthy soil and vegetation. They've learned how to integrate these processes into the built environment, into our developed landscapes in a way that conserves water, cleans it, and reduces urban runoff impacts to our streams. Developing watersheds that shed less water is the first step in creating high functioning low maintenance streams. Water, stream corridor geometry, and sediment are key parameters that influence hydraulics and stream morphology. At the Academy, we're working to understand how these variables pair together so that we can comprehend stream processes and what the impacts of watershed development may be on the stream system. If we can then design streams that work with, rather than fight the natural tendencies of streams, we're more likely to have sustainable, healthy systems. I'm very excited about being an instructor for the Stream Academy. My role is to convey the importance of plants in our stream restoration and stream management projects. The district emphasizes recreating natural stream systems as much as we can which means relying more and more 
on healthy native plants as a critical part of the project. Among their many benefits, vegetation helps stabilize the banks and reduces flood damage. As a biologist, I'm thrilled that plants are finally getting their day in the sun on our urban stream projects. I demonstrate the importance of integrating experiential, aesthetic, and placemaking characteristics into our stream corridors to take them beyond a single purpose function. I'm incredibly encouraged by the way the Academy is developing ambassadors who realize the potential for our streams to enhance these urban areas as genuine and desirable places. In addition to the technical aspects of a Heflum's design, the Academy also teaches leadership skills and provides networking opportunities. The Academy evolves the community by developing leaders who become ambassadors who can promote this new design philosophy. Ambassadors require a solid understanding of Heflum approach and the ability to promote this idea to others. Our goal is to help students have more self-awareness so that they can increase their influence with their peers. We keep the class size to around 16 students to facilitate networking amongst the classmates who normally do not work together in their daily work life. We're very intentional with keeping the class diverse. This allows the classmates to build trust amongst each other since they may find themselves working together in the future on a multi-discipline team. Learning to work together begins in our classroom. What I'd really like students to take away from this course is that we shouldn't be limiting our working teams to only those individuals that we work with on a daily basis. And that's one of the great things about Stream Academy and the diverse networking approach that the district has taken. From engineers to landscape architects, ecologists and environmental specialists, plan reviewers and developers, we're all in this together and these are our collective projects. So as ambassadors, we really need to strive to move the needle forward in our industry and improve our overall community, our surroundings, and our way of life. We can't build great projects by ourselves. It, it takes, takes a village. With this collaborative, multidiscipline approach to urban stream design, we can usher in a new era of living, breathing, longer lasting, and more resilient solutions. We can create infrastructure that looks like nature. Learn with us at the Stream Management Academy.